Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a 35 degree January the 27th. With Kai Kai at hand. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing it wasn't any colder than what it was because that was some typhoon going on this morning. Now we got little patches of blue here and there. It's weird, 35 degrees feels quite comfortable. Poor Danny. We're, Kelly and I got a little ritual as we go in the shop. And all of a sudden, blam, the doors, we leave it cracked. So the dogs can come and go, you know, while we're in there. And he shut the door on himself. Kelly opens the door. And he goes running and sets in his little spot. We're going, oh, we're not working in the shop this morning, Danny Magoo. Oh. <laughs> Kelly's <laughs> loving on him. She feels bad. She goes, it's time to go to work. We'll be back soon. I'll find something to do in there, and you can come in there and hang out with me tonight. The old gray beard. <laughs> I know. Poor little What's it look like a DR? You. I know he would. He'd just hang out right down there. He'd be a good boy. <laughs> Who's the idiot that's bringing the DR wheel back? I don't know. I think there was outside influence. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I think I was wrongly distracted and put that tire on there back. <laughs> nope, it was nice and quiet and I was all by myself, my own little thoughts and just... See, it was your own thoughts that did it to you. Yeah. You wandered off while you were working. Yeah, I was deep thinking about something other than what I was doing, most likely. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head on down. All right. <laughs> well, there, little woman. It's home day. It is. Crazy, we're already at the halfway point. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't believe I did that. <laughs> he yep. was so mad. Oh my lord, he was oh, mad. I just couldn't believe my eyes when I seen it. Oh well, things happen. Yep, so you get fixed. Yeah. Have right. a wonderful day. I will see you in the past. All righty, love you. See you, bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. So I'm doing the service on this 2017 R1200 GS. And I'm looking at this thing, I look up, I see the comfort seats on it, and it's color, it was called the Exclusive, I think is, yeah. And um, anyway, I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking, man, I remember when I had to return the 2017 Stormtrooper because somebody was hot to trot to buy it. I, Kelly and I rode in together, it was supposed to be a nice day, and then we rode this thing home and went and visited Kelly's mom and dad in that that uh that care home there in woodland washington and her and i rode through the craziest rainstorm we've ever ridden through together on this thing so it's maiden voyage to the house was a crazy storm and if you remember the drive home to get the stormtrooper back for a short period of time but the 2018s came out and anyway uh anyway i'm just thinking about that gs that i had for a short period of time so I'm looking at this thing, I turn around and look at the RO. This is the bike. I know the guy that owns this. I gotta answer the phone. Sorry about that, it was a service rider asking about a BMW battery that we're warranting. But anyway, that's it. Isn't that cool? Super nice guy. This dude's awesome. Anyway, let's finish the service. I think he's up there waiting. It's crazy. This is getting a brake flush anyway because it's, a, it's an annual service. But it's weird that as clean as that looks, it's still got water or 1% water content. Pretty crazy, huh? She's getting flushed anyway, regardless of what it shows. It's part of that service. All right, she's completely serviced off. The uh, front caliper front brakes were 2% uh, as well. But I just want to show you this. That's brand new brake fluid. So even though the fluid I took out looked just as clean as that, maybe a little darker, don't ever go by what it looks like. You need to buy yourself a tester and test it. Water content is crucial to know because um, they'll boil. And when they boil, they create air and you lose your brakes. Not a good thing. <laughs> All right, let's go take this thing for a rip. Of course, now it's gonna rain on me. The customer's here, so it's not like I can wait until the rain stops. 
Yeah, I don't have any rain gear. I didn't know this was on my schedule. I right? uh, <clears throat> almost need to buy a coat for uh, riding in less than pleasurable weather, huh? Because I don't know if you know it or not, but it does that every once in a while, a while here in the old Pacific Northwest. <laughs> kind of cool that this is that demo don't crash into me there speedster all righty look it's all nice looking skies can you look that direction Ooh, yeah nothing I have on is even water resistant this car hard will fight it off for quite a while, but the climb base layer, there ain't nothing water resistant or anything on there. <laughs> Holy moly. Watching you, I'm watching you. You're getting all frisky on me there. Come rushing up to that light. So hopefully I get a break here to uh, swap my front tire around. We might have to wait till tomorrow or something. Ain't no telling how the day will go. We're just going to take a quick one today. to ride it's one cool thing about these boxers especially the water boxers they just clean so easy it's the craziest thing the good old tried and true 1200s gotta love them At least it's 42 degrees out here. I'm not going to freeze to death. Well, that depends on what time of the year you're saying it's 42 degrees. <laughs> 42 degrees feels kind of warm. Ah, well, not warm, but not that ooh, cold. Kelly would probably have a different, uh, different opinion about that. But. You know, she's part Indian, you know. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> I just think they're probably used to warmer weather. I don't know. What do I know? God, you probably can't even say something like that. That's probably not even allowed anymore. I don't even know what you can say and can't say. I never mean any ill respect no matter what but people can take things you just say something a little off and you know that means this and that and whatever hey, you know what go get over yourself <laughs> it looks pretty nice all around me I think I'm uh, underneath the hole hey there's a free chair Slightly used one owner. <laughs> Look at that. Just a row of houses down through there. Just stacked them together. Imagine coming in and spending that kind of money. And I'm sure it's quite expensive. For, uh, for one of them houses. And you, you have to have a little tiny push mower just to mow between them. Maybe even a weed eater. I don't know. Some people are into that. At that point, you might as well just live in an apartment building, buy a condo somewhere, wedged in there like sardines in a can. But people come from different 
different lives and different styles and some people are okay with people staring through your window and <laughs> knowing when you come and go probably even know when you go to the bathroom and stuff Kelly and I we say no thank you when we were young we moved to Portland we were just so excited to be you know in a city away where you know every five minutes you know you don't have to go to a parent's house for something you know it's not too bad I'm an hour away sorry <laughs> well because it's raining I'm gonna land him back up on the uh, the top here so that he can get his gear on and out in the dryness I don't feel so wet. I don't feel cold. That's that's what's really important, I reckon. I haven't seen this gentleman. God, did I even see him last year? The boy, last year was so weird. It's kind of not really starting out a whole lot better this year, is it? Yeah, just park him right over here through so the forklift. I'm just going to land him here so he can get get ready and not be wet. Yeah, get a little wet. Yeah, that's all right. Fine. Yeah, and these things clean so well. They handle they handle the rain like a dream. Yeah. Yeah, 9600 miles. He's uh getting close to those things, but he he's well safe at the moment. He's not touching any wear bars, so he's good. Yep. Starting to get there. All right. Nick, what's going on? <laughs> good, thanks. There she is. Correct rotation. Correct rotation on a front tire. The treads look like they're going backwards. Because you got to remember the force on a front tire is meant for braking. Otherwise, it's just rolling. And on a rear tire, they design it for acceleration. So rear tire will be going this way, front tire this way. I know, when I first started doing that back in the 80s, that tripped me out too. And went, I front tires on there backwards. But I can assure you, that's going the correct way. Disc on the left, wheel turns, counterclockwise looking at it this way. I wasn't smart enough to double check that yesterday. And man, what a bear of a tire. I don't know why those things are so hard to get on and off. There's my old tubes. You can see the rear where the salt water got through the spokes. So I soaked all that stuff really good with penetrating lube before I put the rim band back on and you don't, don't want your wheels falling apart. Not a good thing. <laughs> good lord woman. What a crazy, I'm so glad I don't live in the city. Yeah, you We did that for 12 years in Portland, and I've yeah. never. So Kelly and I are getting in the car, and all of a sudden, blam, the Indian door goes flying open. Some guy comes flying out with the hugest backpack I think I've seen in a while. Yeah. I mean, like, military-sized backpack. And flashing some crazy bright light at Kelly and I, and runs, goes across the parking lot, and goes there's a customer. The Sitting out there, he goes, hey, employees start coming out. Everybody's like, what's going on? He didn't steal anything. I, I don't know. I guess he was standing in a finance office. Maybe, maybe they gave him a price that scared him or so. I don't know. Yeah. He comes flying out, and they just come running through the store. Just want to get us excited. So we watched him. He's on the other side of the road. Yeah. And he's walking along, just acting very strange and dancing around and screaming. Yeah. I think it's just somebody that came off the street. Yeah. Thank Good you. Lord, that almost looks like him yeah. right there. Almost, except for I think his backpack might have been bigger. Yeah. That's pretty dang crazy right there. God, that almost yeah. looks like him right there, doesn't it? I know, it, but he's not all jumpy and... Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> like being, all, being all mellow. <laughs> That's pretty bizarre. Looky there. She's mounted up with some new skins. The toss. Showed you guys that. You guys, I've probably pointed at these tires a hundred times. 
I hope these things work out as good as, as what everybody says. I would hate to have that. I'm pretty sure the Roshinko's experience that I had on my 93. I went from the incredible Metzlers to literally the worst tires I ever rode on. You know, I complained about those Bridgestone Trail Max, I think they're called. But uh, until they started to wear out, you know, they were fantastic. They're still really good on the road. But um, they just, they could have been better in the dirt. But I didn't didn't care. It was a dual sport tire. And it rode like a dual sport tire. Hopefully these will be a little more aggressive off-road. I mean, obviously it's not a full off-road. If you put Continental TKC80s on here, yeah, that's perfect. Street legal and you can just point that thing anywhere. But, you know, these are not that expensive and I thought I'd give them a try. I love the Metzlers, but when I can't get a tire that's, you know, of a new age, that kind of makes me worry that they're phasing it out. And, you know, to be all, to be fair, those 17 inch rear tires are kind of a thing of the past. It's not many bikes with the 17s anymore. But there she is. I'm very excited. She's, um, pressures are set. They're balanced. They've got a ride on in, in addition to balancing them on a, balance machine so ride on's in and uh, it's going to be a bit for a ride so it's going to be a little rough ride at first but there she is ready to roll ready to chase this little woman around out in the back roads and dirt roads and trails whatever whatever we come about glad to see the dr on some new skins let me go grab her she's probably asleep out in there oh my god it's almost a all right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Lights are too f close above my head. I get this big shadow. Maybe I don't want you to see in my eyes. <laughs> Maybe there's a plan. Yeah. It's nice to have the old DR all, all set up because I definitely want to chase her around. It feels more right to chase her around on the, uh, on the DR. But it's kind of hard not to. When you you know that's new in the in the stable, it's hard not to ride it. Plus, it's really good for it. The way I ride around her, it's really good for the break in. Yeah, Why? really good. I make him go slow. But it's not the slow. Well, it, and the barrier that, but I'll back off and come ripping up to her, and it just uh, forces me to vary it. And that and it's fun to do it because it's fun to listen to it too. So it's fun to go up and down and. Do all the things I like to do in the break in. Mm -hmm. She'll be a good one. She'll last a long time. Yep. But mama, five, it is literally the same time as last night. Five I minutes know. to 11. All right, we got to go. Yes. <laughs> all righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Thank you. Yeah. I'm working on motorcycles all day at work and then coming home and... Working on motorcycles all night? That makes them vlogs tough to do it. Yes, <laughs> In the it middle does. of night, early morning. But it's all right. It's fun, and I'm enjoying it. Very good. And uh, we'll see you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.